You know those castles you build with blocks when you're little? And you don't realize that you put one of the pieces in the wrong place. You keep building it and the whole castle collapses. Now you have to rebuild it. Isn't that what we all do? Want something to drink? Um, water is fine. Thank you. That's my mom. She's beautiful. Yeah, she was. Do you think people are scared of connection? When you connect with someone, you give yourself away. That could be scary. But why do they say they want to connect if they're scared of it? Because we don't know what we want. Slow, 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 slow. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's all right. So how long since you guys broke up? How do you know that? I mean, is it that obvious? No. I'm just a really good mind reader. <laughs> we broke up five months ago. Still fresh? I'm okay, though. Are you guys still in touch? He doesn't want any connection. It's probably good, though. Yeah, you know, that's what everybody says. But it's the most difficult thing. It's like one second, he's my boyfriend, and the next second, a stranger. It's like something inside of you dies.
My heart's on the right. What do you mean? My heart, it's on the right side of my chest. Oh my God, are you, are you okay? Like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Like, I mean, how, was, how was that even possible? It's a condition, not a lot of people know about it. It's called dextrocardia. It could even happen with all your organs. Uh, for me, it's just my heart. <laughs> when I was a little kid, my dad, he used to say that I had superpowers because of what my body had to do to adjust in order for me to survive. Oh, wow. Hey. Check this out. If I get closer to you and I hug you, I pen up beneath a pen a pen a pen a de mi corazón que me corre por las venas pena con la fuerza de un ciclo. Do you have a cigarette? Yep. You need a light? You okay? Yeah. How about you? It's a friend's birthday, so we're out celebrating. I didn't really feel like going out, but uh, I gotta do what the birthday boy wants to do, right? You're a good friend. What are you doing now? Nothing really. Then why'd you come outside? My friends, they forced me to go out. It's supposed to make me feel better. I can tell it's working. I just needed to get out the bar. I mean, have you ever felt like everyone just knows how you feel? <laughs> yeah, sure I do.
You want to go someplace else? I was in a relationship and I decided to tell my father that I was gay because I didn't like not being open to him and I, I wanted to share my relationship with him. But when I told him, he just stared at me and I saw something shift in his eyes. He hasn't talked to me since. That was seven years ago just dropped all communication with me, lost all contact. And then my boyfriend broke up with me. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I am now. I forgave them. And I accepted my father's decision. So I'm the only person that can be in charge of my happiness. Nobody else can dictate my happiness. You know what I mean? Not even my father has that power. I never got your name. Marcus. I'm Angel. 